Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a couple of things that I need to do. The first one is get some ink for my printer because halfway through printing out this beautiful little leaf photo, it ran out of ink. So I need to get some of that because I kind of wanted to do some like more DIY framing, maybe put some frames on the wall just here. So I need to do that. And then the other thing that I need to do today is organize my skincare routine because it's the middle of winter and I am drying out and my skin gets so sore and irritated when it's dry. So I need to kind of get a new really moisturizing skin routine. So I'm going to head to the body shop because they are so great for their body products and their moisturizer products so I'm really excited to put together a new skincare to routine and the other reason that I'm going into the body shop is because right now they have a new campaign for forever against animal testing there is a petition that you can sign I'll leave a link in the description to the petition if you are interested in signing that I really recommend that you do but you can also go in store to sign as well so today I'm going in to get a new skincare routine and sign this petition to help put a ban on cosmetic animal testing which I think is so important they are aiming for 8 million signatures to be able to take to the UN in for the hopes of banning animal testing. There are over 80% of countries that have no laws against animal testing, which is terrible. So let's sign this petition and actually work towards making a difference with cosmetic testing on animals because it is such an awful thing. So that is what I am doing today. I'm going to be heading into the city and I'm going to body shop to get myself some new moisturizing skincare products so that I can have a nice moisturizing routine because I am so over how dry my skin is. So if you enjoy this video and you want to come and see all of the products and the things that I put together for a new skincare routine, then just keep watching. to-do list. I've had my coffee. I am now going to head off and go into the city. It is so windy out there and I feel like it's going to be freezing, which I'm not looking forward to. I seriously can't wait for the warm weather. But on that note, I have been loving... Oh my gosh, look at this stupid tag. I have to take that off. I'm going to just tuck that in there. I have been loving um, this kind of like nudish blush pinky color yeah, like that's in this scarf. I've just added so much of this color to my wardrobe, which I'm really loving right now. So I feel like that's nice and I feel like that'll go at any time of the year. But yeah, so I'm going to head off, get some ink and um, go and get some body products. My way to the body shop in Melbourne Central and the store here looks incredible. It is such a beautiful layout and I am really excited to try out some products, test out some body care and some skin care for my face, which I'm really excited about. And I'm going to be signing the Forever Against Animal Testing Petition as well. So let's go ahead and see what all the products are that I find. So here is the little Forever Against Animal Testing station and you can sign the petition in store like I have just done or I will have a link in the description if you would like to go and sign it as well. They are aiming to have 8 million signatures to take to the United Nations to help ban animal testing across the world, which I think is very important. So make sure you sign that petition and hopefully we can make a change. beautiful jelly effect yep so it's awesome and that's the nighttime that's a nighttime one so you put it on and you leave it on while you sleep okay cool so it adds a really and it helps even out toning uh, and yep. it really boosts the skin
How beautiful is this little station here? I think this is just so cute. Testing for you. So this is testing for sebum that sits on the top of the ear. So the, the paper is sort of somewhat similar to like a blotting paper in some ah, yes. sense. So it's a little more sensitive. So it picks up on how much oil is or okay, cool. oils are on the skin. Cool. Let's <laughs> okay, work out what my cool. skin is. So we can have a look. Yeah, so this one's your forehead and this one's your cheek. Yeah. So according to this, you'd probably be more into the combination skin because okay. you're picking up a bit of oil, but you're not super oily, but you're not super dry. Okay, cool. I've just finished up at the body shop. I'm about to go and pick up some ink for my printer because I really want to get on with these like um, little picture projects and print out all this stuff. So I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to go home and I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. I have made it home with my haul of body shop goodies and as usual, you're always interested, aren't you, Niggy? Always interested. Also, look at my plant. It's dying. I came home to it from being overseas to it basically dying. I've watered it. I'm fingers crossed it's gonna shoot back up and actually be healthy. But this one likes to chew on it as well. It's a Kentia palm, so it's not poisonous to him, so he's alright if he does want to chew on it a little bit. But yeah, you can stop chewing on it, please. So, I have actually come home with two kind of new skincare routines, which I'm really excited about. I was kind of just planning on working on my body, but I also found some really great um, face products because I am looking to do the whole anti-aging thing now. It was actually my birthday yesterday. And in saying that, I um, just kind of want to get onto like anti-aging and kind of making sure that I'm looking after my skin and preventing any of the aging process. So for my skincare, I have three new products. So I have uh, dry skin, it's like combination dry. I also have really sensitive skin and I also have like broken capillaries and like cuperous skin. So I have three new products. The main one that I'm really excited about is the like under eye um, serum because I have been wanting to get onto having a good serum for the under eye area. So this is the one that I've got. This is from the Drops of, uh, Drops of Youth range, which is all for like anti-aging. And it's gonna be good for my dry skin, but also sensitive. So this one she explained to place like under the eye, but not right under the eye. It has to be kind of like on the bone area because the under eye area will absorb the product. And that's actually not where you want the product to be absorbed. I can't remember exactly how she explained it, but to use a, um, to start here on the bone and then work the way out, don't ever come in. It's always got to go out. So I'm really excited to try that. Then I also have the Youth Concentrate, which is like an oil serum, which I'm very excited. This one has like a little dropper. I also love all the packaging that it's green and really, really pretty. So this one I can use all over and you use this one first before you use a cream. And then I also have, do you have to sit on my computer? Do you have to? Can you get off please? Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Don't go and sit on my computer. Um, so this one is the Youth Cream. So this is just a moisturizing cream that I will probably use at night time. It doesn't seem to have an SPF, which is great. I don't like moisturizing creams that have SPF. So this one, so I'm really excited. So now I have like a three-step moisturizing um, facial routine, which I'm really excited to try those. And they should be really good for my skin. And on to the body products. So my favorite one that I'm so excited for, I've always said that because I have such dry skin on my body, if I could ever just like lay into a bathtub of moisturizer, that would be like a dream of mine. Like if I were a celebrity and I could have a dressing room and have any requests possible, it would be a bathtub full of moisturizer. So this is going to be the next best thing. So I have a combination here of the Body Shop Bath Milk, which is a powder that you put into the water and it makes it like a really creamy, milky, sort of um, consistency. And then there's also the Body Shop Almond Milk and Honey for sensitive and dry skin, which is all me, calming and caring bath milk. So I can use a combination of these two. This one's actually kind of like a bubble bath. So this one will kind of like bubble up, but 
Together, these are going to be a super moisturizing bath, which I'm so excited for. I can't wait to put some moisture back into my skin. From their luxury range and to exfoliate my skin to get off my fake tan and get off all the dead skin that I have from being so dry, I have the Spa of the World African... I actually don't know how to pronounce it and I can't remember how to pronounce it. Um, body scrub. So this one is a really, really nice scrub that's going to... Um, Oh, it smells so good. And it's really fine. Like, I can feel that it's really fine, but it's kind of gritty, so it's going to get off all of my fake tan and get off all of my dead skin. So I'm really excited to try this one. And then to moisturize with, also from the, um, the honey, the milk, almond milk and honey collection, this one is the Soothing and Restoring Body Butter. This stuff smells so good. Like, I got this one purely because it smelled the best out of everything that I had to pick up and try. I love it. So I'm really excited to use this one as well. Apparently this one is really good in summer and in the warm weather as well as winter because it's like not super thick. It's really light and it's kind of have like that nice sort of summery feel to it as well. So I can transition this one from winter to summer. And then I have a couple of accessories as well. I also have the luxury facial flannel, which is um, a cleansing cloth. These are really great. I've had one of these before and I really like it. And then I also have a new body polisher. So this is just like an exfoliating like piece of fabric, which is great because again, with my fake tan, I can't get the middle of my back. So then I get like patches of fake tan there that's really annoying because it gets like dry skin and then it builds up and it just gets gross on my back. So when you kind of live alone, like I do, you don't have anyone to help you out with that. So this is going to be great because I can just hold it and do the back of my back and exfoliate that way so that I can get rid of all the dead skin and the fake tan and then that way I'm going to be smooth head to toe and I'm going to be moisturized head to toe and I'm going to get through the rest of winter being super moisturized. I am so excited. It's seriously about time that I have got myself together a really good moisturizing body and skincare routine because I am so sick of being so dry. So those are all of my products and I'm so excited to try them out. I am absolutely starving. I picked up some stuff to make ham and cheese croissants because that's what I was craving. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself a ham and cheese croissant and I'm going to leave the video here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video and found all of the products and the things that I'm going to be adding to my new skincare routines interesting or fascinating. Maybe I've given you guys a bit of inspiration about how you can change up your skincare routines. And um, don't forget to check out the link in the description to sign the Forever Against Animal Testing Petition. We are aiming to get 8 million signatures, so let's go ahead and do that. And uh, up the top here, you can check out my last video down the bottom. I will leave a link to another one of my videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!